We got the hyper adapt in hand. Let's do an unboxing. See if these are all about what people talking about. I'm an addict for snitches. Snicker addicts, what's good? It's your boy Dells. We're over at Retro King in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and we got the Hyper Adapt in hand. I've been wanting to check these out for a hot minute. And we got them in hand. Thumbs up that video. And with that said, let's check them out together. Here's a look at the box. Let's pull it out right here. Bang. And then let's open this bad boy up. Shake it out. Got a lot of packaging on this bad boy right here. So you can see the shoe. Let's take it out and let's peep it. Definitely, definitely got that futuristic vibe. As you can see, auto lace for you lazy motherfuckers that don't want to lace your shoes. <laughs> And this is supposed to light up, I'm pretty sure. We're gonna get into all that technology in just a second. I just wanted to shoot a little video just showing you the damn shoe real quick. Birds up view on the toe. And as you can see, them auto laces. Then up top, you got your swoosh on one. And then you've got Earl. Shout out to Earl. Let's look at the insole. These have been worn in decent condition. There's your pull strizap and the bizzack with your heel counter. And let's see how this thing lights up. There's a button on the ankle right here. And, oh, there we go. So you tie this up. Nice and lit. It's a cool looking pair of kicks, you know, but, um, for the price point, not for me. I'm gonna keep it 100, I'm not fucking with these, but you know, some of you bowlers out there, you heads that got that guap, this is all you right here, but for me, I'll just stick with a pair of Air Max 90s. You see on the back, I lights up in the back too, the LED lights, LED. I think I said LAD. <laughs> nah. They're not fitted? You took the, oh, that's the insole out. That motherfucking X, that lace is tight as shit. You gotta loosen it, you gotta do the auto lace, bro. Oh, it laces by itself. Oh, so it, so when you put it on, it laces by itself. Yeah. That's odd. Earl. No one know who Earl is, though. How do they fit? What, what would you say? True to size? Nah, that's, that's your own. That insole thick as shit, though. See, look. That's how much room I got left in that shit. So what do you think? If people want it, what size? If they wear a nine and a nine and a half, I'll go with a ten. Okay. If they wear a ten, go ten and a half, like a, a half size up. Bomb. That's the sizing. Yeah, they they look cool on feet. But you know, I don't need all that lighting and all that stuff. I know you like them though. Which one you guys like better, audience? You like the Jordans or you like these right here? Auto laces, do a quick pick one. We're gonna go with the future or the past. We having fun here at Retro Kings. Make sure you stop by here, it's always a good time. And them things look hard on feet. I definitely love these. I probably, me personally, I probably caught like two pair for the one. That's that, that's that scar face. There you go. So, shout out to Earl. <laughs> Which one you guys like better? You like Earl or you like Kanye West? We're gonna do another pick one. Earl or Kanye West? So I'm rocking on feet today. Had to bring it back one time. When was the last time you seen these out? Oh. Oh, this is not tight enough. That's because that battery's dead on that one. This one, the battery's not dead. Oh, you gotta put some strength in there. Is it tight? I don't know. All right, let's see how they feel. You know what it is? It feels a little weird over here, right? When you try them on? 
It, it definitely feel weird in that arch support area. Yeah. But but they definitely look good on feet though. Yeah, they look good on feet. Hit them with that ballerina. You noticed on Instagram, they always hit you with that. What's up with that shot? <laughs> we gotta hit them with it. With that bird, 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 So infamous! Don't you agree? Let me know what you guys think of these shoes right here. Hot or not, if you're looking for a pair, I'll link down in the description box below. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe if you're new. And with that said, we out of here. This is going to be my top five most hyped shoes that I own. No particular order, starting with the Galaxy Phone Posit. Now, this shoe was so damn hyped that it caused basically riots and they had to actually shut down all the stores that were selling these. I think a few of them were managed to sell the shoe in stores, but for the most part, it sold online because people were just going crazy about these shoes and they had to shut it down, man. At one point, police were everywhere. I think at one city, they actually had the National Guards because of this sneaker right here. So this definitely had to make the list. The Galaxy Phone Posit, an amazing, amazing pair of shoes and really set off so much hype. I mean, it really set off a lot of hype. And keeping it with the Phone Posit family, the Supreme Phone Posit one, they weren't even able to sell these at the Supreme store. They had to shut it down. Once again, the police came, shut it down because it was just out of hand. Too many people in the streets. And this was a very, very hyped pair of shoes right here. Definitely something that I grew to really dig. I love the colorway. They look amazing on feet. And I highly recommend them. I actually like this colorway better than the black colorway. Let me know which one you like, though. You like this colorway or the black colorway better? Leave that in the comment box. Of course, the Yeezys, the Red October. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. This was just... This took o this took over the sneaker world for a hot minute, man. I mean, this is an amazing sneaker. It looks fantastic. But the way they released it was just so left field. Just out of nowhere, they released them. And some of us were lucky enough to get our hands on them. The craftsmanship could have been a lot better. A lot of pairs are pretty shitty as far as the glue marks and everything. But for the most part, it's an amazing pair of sneakers. They look so great on feet. So this had to make the list. And these also will make the list and the pure platinum. This is going to be a top 10, obviously. I'm, there's no way I'm showing less than 10 shoes. But um, this shoe right here had to make the list. And it is amazing. This colorway and the pure platinums. I scored both of them at once on mid at midnight. They released, I think, actually a little before midnight. I'm pretty sure the Cavs were playing the Boston Celtics. And then Manny Pacquiao had a fight that night. And me and my wife were sitting on the computer and waiting and waiting and waiting. And I even had a 20% discount code. So I was able to get these for under retail. I got this pair on my computer. My girl got the Pure Platinums on her computer. We scored both of them when they released. Insane, right? I mean, absolutely insane. Another hype shoe were the OVO 10s. I mean, you know, it's a nice pair of kicks. I like the other colorway better. <sighs> do I have the other colorway around me? I don't, but I do have that sneaker. I definitely do have it. But um, either or, OVO colorways are super hyped. And uh, not much of a story behind it. I, you know, I lucked out online and that's that. <laughs> The next shoe I'm going to show is a shoe that really created a lot of the hype with Jordans. It really brought back the just the madness with people reselling and everything. So I'm going to show you these, the Concords. When this one released, the last time it retroed, it really caused like a frenzy and people were going crazy. I had so many people from high school that were never into sneakers that were hitting me up. Yo, I got to get those again. So there was a lot of just like casual consumers that were into this sneaker along with resellers that knew they could cash in because people were ready to pay whatever for these shoes. There was a lot of violence that occurred 
occurred. I even had, um, I forgot what news network, but some news network hit. The lines have been long at shoe stores today as sneaker fans try to snatch up the new retro Air Jordans. Crowds are unruly in Indianapolis, Seattle, and outside San Francisco, where ABC's Jenna Lane says a gun went off at one point. Richmond police say they arrested one man, 24 years old, for what might have been an accidental discharge of his gun in the parking lot of the Hilltop Mall in Richmond. This is as Richmond police were providing extra security because 1,500 to 2,000 people were waiting in line to buy the new Jordan shoes. 2,000 people waiting in line to buy tennis shoes? Maybe sees Alex Stone talk to one man who owns over 400 pairs of sneakers. It's a phenomenon Nike is able to take to the bank. The new shoes cost 180 bucks a pop. DJ Dells runs the sneakeraddict.com. He believes pop culture is driving this craze. He says for older folks, it brings them back to when they were kids. Then you have young kids that just want to look good and, and, and wear the, the hottest sneaker that's out. Some are buying to resell them to make money on eBay right now. The Air Jordan 11s are selling for over 400 bucks. Alex Stone, ABC News craziness i mean it was absolute craziness where i had a news company hit me up for an interview and my thoughts on the whole situation this really caused a lot of like craziness violence and you can't blame the sneaker you got to blame us humans for not knowing how to act some of us at least let's act properly people like come on <laughs> they're just sneakers of course, I got to show you the Yeezys, super hype shoe. People have been going nuts. I have these, I have the turtle doves, and I wasn't able to get any other of the colorways. I wasn't able to get the 750s or any of the other ones, the V2s. Um, I'm happy with what I got, but I really liked some of the V2s, like the ones with the bright color right here. Uh, no luck getting them, but these were very, very hyped, and people were going crazy for them. They were reselling for a lot of money, and... Yeezys are beginning to slow down as far as the resale, but still a super popular and hyped up sneaker. You wear them, people are breaking their necks, <laughs> going nuts. Oh my god, you are rocking the Yeezys, da, da 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 You already know what time it is if you own these and you wear these. So um, this definitely has to make the list, the Yeezys. And my number one sneaker that's the most hyped sneaker I own are the M&M 2s. Now this shoe only released online and it was an old website. I think it was Jumpman23.com. It was something like that. It was a Jordan exclusive site. Once in a while they would release exclusives. Eminem had a book, The Way I Am, and to celebrate the book they released these shoes, 313 pairs. That is, that is his area code, 313. So the whole deal was with this shoe, celebrating the book, 313 pairs, the lyric, some of his lyrics written all over the shoe, and his favorite Jordan was the Jordan 2. So he picked this model to be the sneaker that he wanted to create this with. As you can see, he got cool stuff going on on the back. He got the E right there. And it's an amazing, amazing pair of shoes. I Actually, my girl actually scored these on the internet. 7 o'clock they were supposed to release, but they released at 6.50, and we were able to score our pair, and the site just froze so many times. But shout out to my girl, man. She was very lucky. She helped me out with the Yeezys. She helped me out with this, so much love to my girl. And this is definitely the most hyped pair of shoes, 313 pairs. This is the shoe that people go crazy about in my collection. One of them, definitely. These are all sneakers by the way that are not samples these are all shoes that released by the way like my top 10 sneakers I own that released that you were actually able to buy like this was available to the public you were able to buy this you had to have the luck <laughs> major key you had to have the luck to buy the sneaker but there was an opportunity to buy this shoe and um, I was one of 313 people to buy it. It also came with a t-shirt too. And I think the shoe cost me 110 bucks. I'm pretty sure it was $110 retail. It did take almost a month for it to ship though. And um, we were waiting and waiting and we were praying that they weren't gonna like cancel my order because that would have sucked. Because you know, a week goes by, two weeks go by. You're like, you're beginning to get a little worried and a little frustrated, especially when it's a limited release. You're like, oh my God, am I getting this? shoe please 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 
and finally the shoe came and it came I think the day before or the day after Christmas I'll put a pop-up where you can see a video it's an old old video on my first YouTube channel so you can check it out you'll get a kick out of it especially if you've never seen my videos from my this is like from eight years ago somewhere around there so it's like an old video you actually see me unbox these and see them for the first time uh, the quality is pretty bad but you know keep in mind it was like eight years ago and um, that's it for this video let me know your thoughts let me know your comments please hit the thumbs up button right now for um, this video right here definitely was a lot of work for all these sneakers definitely let me know what was your favorite sneakers I showed you in this video too or if you have any stories when it comes to some of your hyped up sneakers and how you obtained them because it's a lot of fun hearing sneaker stories and um, I also um, have these sneaker addict t-shirts. I'd love you to pick one up. Look in the description box below. Check them out. Only $19.99. Ships worldwide and fits true to size. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell so you're notified. You'll be one of the first to watch my vids. And if you're not doing anything, stick around. Check out some of the other videos on the main page. Much love. We out. I'm in shape, so I'm in shape, so